Hi everyone, thought I'd shoot a little video of this back section before I put the battery back on. As you can see, the battery is heavy enough that it's not hand unload. And uh, so the battery box sits on this cradle that was fabricated basically around the motor. And you can also see the motor and at the very front of the motor. Yeah. You can see, no, nope, probably too dark. Output drive shaft that then runs under the seat up into the transmission and then comes back to the diff and the wheels. Uh, other features back here the hydraulic pump that runs all of the tractor's hydraulic implements, which is basically just the tool lifts, is uh, attached to the tail shaft of the same drive motor rather than on a separate motor. And then there's also this is an encoder from an industrial motor and it's using that little toothed ring to send a series of pulses up to give the tachometer its signal for engine speed. So uh, that's about what we have back here. We can see it's starting to get ready to go back out to the field. The rear uh, weeding units are remounted and that toolbar obviously uh, that toolbar pivots to swing them down to the ground and then their depth wheel uh, guides them. I'll see if I can actually, I should be able to drop them. So they'll run down to that point and then a little bit further and then they'll all dig in and run flat and just uh, kind of scalp the surface in the tire track to keep the tire track weed free. And we'll do it after the tires have passed, which is handy. So that's about it. You can see the main SB connector where power from the battery goes in to go into the control box and controller. And then this small SB, which is a lower amperage rating, obviously, is for an as yet undetermined accessory that could benefit from a, a chunk of electric power. There's a contactor for it, but uh, so far I don't know what we might connect there, but it's a uh, way to pull more power out of the battery in a controlled fashion, maybe run an, an accessory or some other motor or electric device off of this. Maybe makes it more useful as a portable power source too, if I can find a really big inverter or anything that wants to run off a DC load. So I'm in the process of getting the uh, flame weeder set back up. I've still got a bunch of other details to work out, but I've uh, got the flame weeder's control box mounted up there. So the operator's position is starting to get more and more, oh, excuse the wobbles, more and more uh, busy, but there's still enough space for a human in there and you can reach everything and it's, uh, it's not too bad. I haven't, haven't compromised the forward visibility too much, which is the crucial element for this tractor. All right, more to come and some proper field footage once I uh, get a helper or a tripod. All right, here we are in the field. I'm afraid it's windy, the sound may be crap, but we got uh, some peas here. We did a couple passes yesterday, and I think I can straddle the last two. And the tractor is kitted out with the basket weeder. I even got the flame weeder fixed yesterday. It's almost, almost ready to go. And these guys on the rear. Okay, so we're lined up over the peas. Make sure tool is lowered, forward, and away we go. Now I'll have to stop and lower the rear tools. It's funny, usually it makes a different sound when it gets to the There we go. Now to the bottom. And now we're off.
push them around. So, this is the peas coming in and coming out. And uh, you can see a good number of weeds at cotyledon, even like a couple adult leaves. And there are probably loads of white thread in the surface soil. So it's just about the right time to be getting in here. And although it's a three row basket weeder, it's going to leave two more passes that uh, will need to be weeded with something else. But still, it just means I don't have to modify the tool, change any settings, just do it this way, quick and fast, move on to something else. And then the wheel passes are cleaned up by the Schmotzer units. And the peas look like this after pass. So you can see this stripe here obviously needs cleaning up by something else, but that's easy enough to do. In fact you can you can see here from yesterday, peas, strip of weeds, just a few. Not too bad though. So electric weeding is for real. Wicked. <laughs>